Hey, it's Matt, back with another tool haul video, and uh, this one is from a garage sale, and uh, I think this person was kind of a buyer and a seller, maybe a, you know, a picker, a lot of car parts there, and uh, tables full of tools, and just bins full of tools, all sorts of different stuff, so uh, we have a lot of different things to cover here, and I want to try to make these videos go a little bit quicker, so let's get right into it. We're going to start with the sockets, and then we'll get into what we have in this box here, so let's get going. Uh, start off over here on the left, and first off we got a inch and a half Armstrong deep socket, three-quarter drive. It looks like somebody chucked that up in a lathe or something and and turned it down, but in fairly good shape. I'll use that. Next socket we have a 28 millimeter Craftsman of the G flavor, and it's 12 point shallow, half inch drive. Got a 15 16 G deep 12 point five eighths. And this one we have a double line V. And it is used. Fairly decent though. 12 point deep. And we got a half inch G. 12 point deep. Half inch V. Single line V. It's a 12 point deep. A little crusty in there, but it'll be all right. And older single line V, someone's name on it, six point. Half inch. All right, let's get over to the three ace drives here. That one's a G. Seven ace, six point. And we got a thirteen sixteenths G, six point. Another G. It's a three quarter little delamination on there. And thirteen millimeter deep, six point. I believe this is a nineteen millimeter. 12 point shallow craftsman. I think it's a G1 or something. No, it is a V. So an older V, 19 millimeter. We have a quarter inch drive, half inch V, six point. And that was in pretty nice shape. So I snagged that up. And a double line V. 3 ace extension. And last but not least of the sockets, we have some older Craftsman Circle H. These are probably mid-40s. So I think this is the oldest stuff that's going to be in this box. So if you're looking here for older stuff, this is it in here. But pretty nice shape. And I got a inch and a sixteenth and a one inch, both circle H. So that's cool. All right, let's get to the box. Now again, I was able to look through all of this stuff. I dug through bins of tools, and uh, I'd like you to guess what I paid for all of this uh, at the end here. Let me know if I got a good deal or not. Um, I think I paid a little bit more than you would at a typical rummage sale. Um, again, these people looked like they knew what they had and the prices were, they were a little up there, but they weren't too, too bad. But wait till you see what I got in this box here. We have a bunch of ratchets. So let's start with the quarter inch ratchets. And uh, I'll start with uh, the newest ones of the quarter inch. We're going to start with some Craftsman, and let's take a look at this one here. Is that a Craftsman? It looks like Craftsman, right? But it's not. We got a Blackhawk. There's a GW 
looks like 9945A. So it looks like it's in pretty decent shape. I snagged that up and when I saw it, I thought it was a Craftsman. But right next to it was actually a Craftsman ratchet. And I want you to look at the similarities between these and you tell me, were those made in the same place? Neither of them say USA on them. But I mean, that head looks identical. There's only one difference in the head. And uh, if you can see that, one on the left is a little bit more rounded. So, yeah, you tell me. You think that Blackhawk and that Craftsman were made in the same place? I know the handle is different, it's longer, but, I mean, that head knob is a little different. The tips of those anvils look identical. I'd say those were made in the same place. Anywho, all right, we got those two. And I also scooped this one up. We got an old Flying V Craftsman. Double line V. Functions. Works good. Needs a little uh, reconditioning in there, but... That's what we have for the quarter inch ratchets. Let's move on to the three ace. Again, we'll start with the newest uh, of the line here. So we have a Craftsman push button release. A little lever there, and that's a double V. So I figured I'd snag that up. And also, Snagged these two up. So we have two little bit slightly different V3 Ace ratchets. And uh, they're both double line V. You can see that one looks like it has a little bit deeper of a stamp in it. The finish looks a little better on one or just older. This one kind of looks more of a nickel finish. And this is more of a chrome the selector switch is not finished, or maybe it was black, and it's just all worn off. This one is chrome. Uh, slightly different shape, where it says Craftsman. Looks like the same font, so maybe just a different year. But figured I'd snag those up. Those both work. And uh, I'll probably end up selling this one, and I'll probably hang on to this uh, this rustier, crustier one. I don't know. I don't mind uh, hanging on to the to kind of the reject tools for my own personal collection. I like the rustier, crustier, used used look on the stuff. So I like to get rid of the nicer stuff. My mom always said that I can't have nice things, so I like to pass them on to someone else before I destroy them. So. There we go on the 3 Ace drive ratchets for Craftsman. Um, what else I picked up was this New Britain. And there's an NB45 USA 31. We'll get you in nice and close on that. And uh, I thought that was a decent looking ratchet. So I figured why not? I'll pick that thing up. A little delamination. But overall, not too bad. Function sounds good. So I picked that up. All right, let's get to the big ones. The half-inch drive ratchets. Yes, they keep coming. And we have here a Craftsman. And this one is very similar, or the same style or series as this one here. And I picked these up because... I already have some of those, or so I thought. So I got home and I grabbed it and looked at it and said, nope, that's not the same. It is slightly different. So the ones that I have have the push button and it's also a little bit shorter and the head is a different size. 
probably can't tell from the video, but this one is just a little bit smaller. And they do have different part numbers because they are a different ratchet. But I thought that was cool, so now I have, you know, a different style to go along with my collection. So, there we go. I know you want to see the quarter inch one. It also has a different font on there as well. You see the font is definitely different. Different A. So... Yeah, there we go. And no USA on these. So where are these made? Are they made in uh, Canada there, eh? I don't know. Somebody let me know because I did get this with a set of sockets that say ST on them. And I believe I read that that was from Canada. So either way, I like these little uh, thumb, wheel, thumb wheel ratchets. I've been using those for a while. All right, let's move on here. Uh, next in line, going down in years here, we have this half-inch drive. Craftsman. Focus. And that is a single-line V. Getting a little bit of sawdust in there. They all seem to have sawdust stuck in there. All right. Next one we got is another Craftsman V, and this one is a little bit older and has some oddities to it. Um, got to look close at this lever here, and I was thinking this was going to be a V and it was just broken off, but uh, after looking at it fairly closely, I don't think it was. And let's compare it to this ratchet here. If we want to look at the the gap right here and the gap right here it's greater but I'm still thinking it had this style lever on there not a V lever because those V's would be sticking up right here and I see full uh, plating around here I don't see any disruption in it where there would be V's sticking off this way if they're broken off and the tip of the V doesn't normally go down this far that you know that wide it looks pretty thick I mean we're talking about from here to here that it's higher than the rest of this so I'm assuming it had some sort of lever on here I tried to look it up tried to find it but couldn't find an exact example of this and again there's no part number on this one so it was pre part number um, so this is a pretty early pretty early V ratchet look at that dip in there you can see that thing really good big crater right there but i thought i'd snag that up even though it's missing a part again this is probably just a ratchet that i'm going to hang on to clean it up a little bit uh, maybe i'll come across a lever or a head kit for this thing if i can ever figure out which one went in there and uh again just keep it i, I might even just use it i can i can flip this lever so it's not it's not horrible but that's that one so that's it for the Craftsman in the half inch drive. And this next ratchet I thought was pretty cool. I don't come across these uh, too often. Uh, but we have an Armstrong. And it is a S91. And it's in really good shape. So I couldn't pass this thing by. But functions, works great. Sounds good. Uh, only thing I don't like is this selector lever. It's kind of just peened down to there. Um, I don't know. I see that being a weak point. And then it's got this detent ball. It's like all these extra moving pieces that don't need to be there and are fragile and prone to get not working if there's dirt in there, you know. So I, I don't know, but... I don't know it's a nice looking ratchet the rest of it seems to be fairly well built i don't know if anybody ever swung around a s91 armstrong is that your flavor looks like a nice ratchet so i might put that one into service looks like a good wrench all right so 
that is all the ratchets we have and i have three more wrenches in here and uh, we'll start with uh this one here armstrong usa chrome and this is a really nice looking box wrench here so 916 716s and uh it looks like it's in really good shape barely used it has like 38 scribed in it um you can barely see it but yeah i think uh i think my double box that i have at work of this size is an older craftsman like a ci craftsman so i might take that one out of service and replace it with this one this is a fairly new newer era wrench and uh looks like it needs to get used a little more yep definitely all right next up we have this uh little weird offset double box and there's a proto proto professional 5 ace 9 16 doesn't look like it's in uh, bad shape pretty decent looking wrench I don't know, is it a distributor wrench? Maybe. Maybe I can use that to get to the distributor nut back there. Maybe that's what they were for. I don't know. But I don't have any of these, so figured I'd snag that up. All right, we got one more wrench, and I think I saved the best for last. I'm sure you'll let me know, but we got a Proto 4Y187. And I tried to look this up, but I could find nothing on this. So I found some wrenches that were very similar to this that were line wrenches. And uh, this double square, I could not find. So I thought it was cool. I like the old Proto Pebble stuff. Um, so I think this is going to be like a mid-40s, I want to say. Uh, actually, it's Proto. If it's Proto, so it's got to be after 48, I believe. Um, so maybe it's a mid, more of a mid-50s. Yeah, I think it would be a mid-50s, maybe even late 50s. So I think in the early 50s, it said Los Angeles on here. But, someone will correct me if I'm wrong. But I thought that was cool. Um... Definitely interesting little wrench. It looks like it was ground down on both sides. There's no finish on both sides and around the head here. But I don't mind that. I'm going to hang on to this. Not something I'm going to sell. Just kind of neat little wrench that I've never really came across before. So if anyone else has any of these... Um, I know, again, I know there's line wrenches out there like this, but I haven't found any pictures of a double square one. So let me know if you have one. Do a video on them or something. But that's going to do it for today, folks. Again, what do you think? Guess down there. How much did I pay for all of this? What do you think? I'll give you a couple minutes to put it down into there. But I think I... Got an okay deal on these. So, did you put it in there? Did you write it down in there? Did you click subscribe? I think it's here. Right there. Just do that and help me out. I mean, look at this stuff. What do you think? I paid 80 bucks. 80. Did I get screwed? Did I get a good deal? Let me know. What was your favorite, favorite tool, favorite find here? I think that's my favorite one. And maybe this Armstrong wrench. I don't know. Well, that's it. We'll see you next time. Hopefully we'll get some good stuff out there. Have a good one.